Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm Bishop Raji Gaines, and you're tuned in to Harvest Time Apostolic Ministries, located at 764 West 107th Street in Los Angeles, California. Our phone number is 323-449-9857. Our morning worship services start Sunday morning at 11.30. We have a Tuesday noonday prayer and Bible study and a Thursday 7.30 p.m. Bible study. You are welcome to come out to any and all of our services. If you don't have a church home, if you're sitting at home watching this on Facebook or YouTube and you say, I need a place to praise God and the spirit of holiness where I'm free to kick off my shoes and give God a praise. Come on, give me a call. Area code 323 9857 We'll give you directions on how to get there. If you're watching this and you say, I'd like to be there, but I don't have a way, give me a call. 323-449-9857. We'll send the bus out to get you. Amen. If you're sitting there and you haven't repented of your sins, if you have not gone down in the watery grave in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, if you haven't received See the gift of the Holy Ghost. Give me a call, Bishop Raji Gaines. Let's reason together. Let's search the word, amen. And so that we can we you can show you uh, what it takes to make it to heaven. Give me a call, 323-449-9857. Come on out and visit uh, um, our church with us. Come praise God with us. We believe you'll say it was good for me to have been there. Somebody give God a praise. Amen. We won't be before you long as we have another service. Amen. Uh, and we need to, amen, that we need to preach at. Amen. But we're going to give you what thus said the Lord. Amen. If somebody would pray for me amen. and he would be real quick, I believe. Uh, I don't take God a long time to do what he want to do. Amen. 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 If you turn to Proverbs, the 18th chapter and the 22nd verse, amen, and somebody's looking at that already and wondering where is he about to go with this, amen, but you just got to follow me on today, hallelujah, and I'm going to actually give it to you out of the amplified version of the Bible because I want to uh, um, knock down some, uh, some uh, false doctrine that has been tried to be served to the people because of the translation out of the King James Version of the Bible sometimes leaves things open for interpretation or, or someone may uh, try to read something into it that's not there. So when you have it, say amen. amen. If you need more time, say wait on me. All right, we're good, we're good. Amen. The, the word of God reads out of the Amplified Version of the Bible, uh, Proverbs 18 and 22. He who finds a wife, or in fact it says, he who finds a true wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. <laughs> and if you can run over to uh, the book of St. John, St. John's uh, chapter, amen, and the 16th verse, amen, we're going to use a, a, a portion of that scripture there, and it reads as such, hallelujah, I'll give you a couple seconds to find it, amen, uh, 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 we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, and it reads, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. I'm going to stop right here. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. We, the first scripture said, he that findeth a wife. Oh, God. I, wrote, I read it out of the Amplified Version because uh, uh, the King James Version reads as thus, whoso findeth a oh, wife. <laughs> We have those who are trying to uh, 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 put a stamp of approval on gay marriage and homosexual lifestyle who are trying to uh, interpret that is uh, 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 that it can be any 
anyone. It could be a male or female. Uh, uh, but the devil is a lie. Uh, hallelujah. I don't care if somebody is watching this and want to report me to uh, the powers that be. Amen. I will say it. Uh, amen. With or without a charter. Gay marriage is not acceptable. A homosexual lifestyle is not acceptable. And if you think uh, you're going to sneak or get into heaven living in an alternative lifestyle, uh, hallelujah, you're a fooling yourself. Uh, if you think that you're going to make it to heaven and uh, uh, you're living other than the way that God has laid it out, and I'm about to get to my message, uh, but Jesus or God himself said it very plain. Uh, he created Adam. He said, uh, it is not good for man to be alone. Uh, so I shall go, God. Uh, lay him down and form him a helpmeet. Uh, I will take her uh, a portion out of his side to form this woman and he called her Eve. Uh, I heard one preacher said something like this. Uh, if God put and put a stamp of approval on a gay marriage or a homosexual lifestyle, when he laid Adam down, he would have created a woman and a man. And when he woke Adam up, he would have told Adam, get with whichever one turned you on. But since God did not do that, and he created a woman, amen, it is behooves us to our lifestyle in order or else we shall miss the rapture. Oh, yeah. uh, That's my little editorial there. We're going to move on and get to the word of God. Amen. The title of, uh, uh, of this message on today is being ready for my groom. Being ready for my groom. The subject today is simply this. It's it's wedding time. It's wedding time. And the theme of this whole uh, message on today is Jesus is coming soon. I need to be ready. Yes. Being ready for my group. The Bible says uh, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. Uh, and obtaineth favor. Uh, God. And because Christ is married to the church, and we have become the bride of Christ, uh, it is our duty, our obligation uh, to get ourselves ready or make ourselves ready uh, for our groom upon his entrance uh, into a little Oh God, you got to get with me quick because I'm about to get up out of here. Um, but uh, when we realize, we realize uh, that there's a wedding that's about to take place. Uh, and when you have a woman in uh, she's getting ready for her wedding day. Uh, uh, when she's uh, uh, preparing a man uh, for that special day where she uh, will be walking down the aisle and uh, have her hand taken uh, by a certain gentleman uh, and putting her, his name on her. Uh, you realize it's an occasion that she doesn't just take a lightly, uh, but she takes the time. I'm not going to be able to use the 